In this instructional video, we will cover how to use Display Builder. To begin, launch Display Builder. Once you have done that, you will enter your login information. You will go up to the toolbar to My Display Set and select Create a New Display Set. After that, enter a name for the display. We recommend using the location the mind is going along with the date. Also choose the right resolution for the screen. If the screen is going to be horizontal, then you want to choose Landscape 640 by 480. If the screen is going to be vertical, then you want to choose Portrait 480 by 640. Go back to My Display Set and select Edit a Display Set. As you can see to your left, this is where all your display sets will be. Now let's get started on building the planogram. Click on Visual Products. This is where you will be entering the products for the planogram. On the left side, choose which type of machine you're using or custom keys if you're adding more products than the typical machine carries. Now click to add a product. The window that has popped up has all the products that are in our database. First choose the manufacturer, then the brand, and finally the product. Then assign the product a number. If there is a product that you don't see, feel free to contact customer service. Once you have chosen all your products, it's time to make the attribute screens. Before you do that, we have to load all the thumbnails. Go to the top and under My Images, select Download Thumbnails. It will ask you where you would like to download the thumbnails. We suggest you create a new folder on the desktop and label it Thumbnails. After you load the thumbnails, go to your desktop and check your thumbnail folder to make sure all the icons for your products are there. If not, please contact customer service. So now we have our thumbnails and it's time to create the attribute screens. Go to My Images and select Custom Screen Editor. Then once the window pops up, select File and then New Template. Depending on which way your mind is going will determine if you will choose 640 by 480 for horizontal or 480 by 640 for vertical. In this step, you will use a template set that has been provided. Now you will click on Format background, then set background picture. Then from there you will go in the template folder and click and open whichever category you would like to start with. But for this we will start with candy. There are two screens for every category. This is in case you need to add more than just one page. Now that we have the background done we can start putting the products on the screen. And to do that you will need to click on the load graphic button. Then go to your thumbnails folder and select a product that fits in your category. For this example we will use Mike and Ike's. Once your product is on the screen you will click and drag until it is the desired size. Then repeat the steps until all of your products are added. Once you have completed a screen you will save it as a template file. Click on File, then Send to My Images. This turns the file into a JPEG, which you will add navigation buttons to later in the video. Now that we learned how to make a screen, the next part is to make a category screen. And to do that, 
you will need to open the custom screen editor again and make a new template with your correct pixel dimensions. To begin, we are going to click on the load graphic button, then go into the template folder and select the button file. Now what we are going to do is make five buttons, one button for each category and one button for the home page. Helpful hint, when making these buttons, you can copy and paste them to help speed the process along. Now we have five buttons that are blank. We need to click on text and we are going to put candy for the first one. Also useful information, if you right click on the text, it will bring up a window allowing you to change size, color, and style of the font. All right, our buttons are done. We have four category buttons and one home page button. Save your completed category screen as a template file. Once again, you will click on File, then Send to My Images. One thing that we did not yet cover is creating the home page. You can create this in Display Builder. You can use this screen to display a company logo or just text. On this screen, make sure you include a button that says Touch here for nutritional information. Save this screen as a template file. Remember to make this screen the same size as the other screens.